Hey there, adding bigger numbers. Let's get into it. Straight into an example. Let's try adding two numbers that are two digits each. What we're going to do is add them in a vertical manner by writing it like this. 23 and 35, just underneath, with a plus symbol there. What we do is we add the columns, each column. First we add the ones column, 3 plus 5 is 8. And then we add the tens column, 2 plus 3 is 5, giving us an answer of 58. When you add two numbers, you are finding their sum or total. Another one, 29 plus 54. Set it up again. Okay, align uh, the units, align the ones of the units, and align the tens. This time, 9 plus 4. 9 plus 4 is bigger than 10, it's 13. So what we do is the 3 in 13 belongs in the ones column, and the 10 in 13 belongs in the tens. And then we add these, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 5 is 8 giving us an answer of 83. So what actually happened here was, we got 13, the three belongs here, the three in the 13 is a, is a single unit, but the one in 13 belongs with the 10, so it gets carried over, so we carried the one. Answer of 83. That is about as hard as it gets, you just need to practice, but let's do a couple more. 88 plus 32, setting it up. Vertically. We add the 8 plus 2 is 10 this time. We put the 10 there, we put the 0 from the 10 there, and we carry a 1 over into the 10s column. 1 plus 8 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, giving us 120. On to one more. This time we have a number in its hundreds plus a number in its tens. Adding them vertically, 527 plus 91. Again, we need to align them correctly vertically. So the 1s are aligned. The tens are aligned and the hundreds are aligned. But the 91 doesn't have any hundreds, so that just stays blank. Here we go. 7 plus 1 is 8. 2 plus 9 is 11. So the 1 from the 11 goes here, and I carry the other 1 from the 11 up here. 1 plus 5 gives 6. So again, what's happened here is we've had 20 plus 90 giving 110. The 10 from the 110 goes here. The 100 from the 110 gets carried up here into the hundreds column. So we end up with 618. I hope you got the hang of it. It is now your turn. Please try example two. Again, this is just practice for adding two digit numbers. Here we have a three digit number. Let's see how you go with that. Remember, even if you add larger numbers in the thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, or millions, you just do the same principle. Add vertically and carry over to the left when necessary. You can easily use a calculator to get these answers or simply go online, but doing it on paper using your own mind and being honest with yourself is the key to success. Share your answers in the comments and thanks for watching.